start recording this. First and foremost, for those of you that have not heard, there is a patch confirmed. All right, that's that's great. That's fantastic. What we've been asking for, right, Rafa? That's crazy. We thought that was it. A lot of us were like, we don't think another patch is coming. You know, th this is it. Blah blah blah. It was shit. Yeah, we were wrong. Final patch of the game. Hey, maybe or 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 there could be another season. And you don't know that. You gotta remember, the pandemic fucked up a lot of plans for a lot of games. You gotta think about the games that had characters already being made, and then the pandemic just ruined everything. They could have had another season lined up. Who will take over as a nuke in the lab coat? If this patch is done correctly, no one. Because there's no character that has a toolkit like lab coat. They're gonna make the debuff go to 105% so that if you get grabbed five times, you actually heal your opponent. It's like sub zero and shit like that. Alright, chat. Unnerved tier list. It's time, baby. It's something you've all been waiting for. It's tiempo. It's tiempo. Alright, first of all, first and foremost, please nerve Spark vanish this has to go the spark vanish has to go i i want to say that you should not be able to vanish three seconds after you spark you just should be locked out this has been an issue since the very first day the game came out no 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 spark vanish can stay in the game but just not right after you spark post spark vanish situation is so annoying to deal with what do you mean you used your get off of me mechanic that now turned into your pressure into my character dying because you had one bar? You you get punished for being offensive when it's your turn without them taking a major risk. Put snap back in for a bar, you're tripping. All right, anyways. Yeah, nerf for nothing, dude. We, you already know. She gotta go. That command grab. 5% at most. Or make it cost three bars. Right? Not be a reversal, you know. Well, I guess you could make it a reversal at three bars, but it has like the startup animation that you just hold up out of instead of the fing, oh, oh fing, you, you can't react to all this with the whole entire mental stack, right? So anyways, yeah, command grab, nerf, EX moves, nerf, right? Then she'd be a fine character. It'd be sick. This character's cool as hell, man. It's just that her command grab and how strong her specials are make her super annoying to fight if you just nerf those two things should be okay well and also nerf uh, her being able to combo after her supers there you go boom that's it done or if they keep the 21 percent debuff have it go away when she dies it's that easy how, how did this get past balance testing i don't know this asshole yeah him 5m gotta go 5m needs either 10 more frames of recovery five more frames of startup put the distance back as it used to be it's one of those one of those this move should not actually this move should not be plus on whiff this should not be a plus on whiff button mm -mm. vegeto a if, if he gets all those nerfs uh, i'm okay with vegeto a being as strong as it is because whatever the assist is powerful right but on top of everything else that he has nah son 5m is just a problem so slight nerf yeah 5m is a huge problem for this character just infuse them i agree i don't really think there's any other characters that i think i need massive nerfs because because the way it goes it goes lap coat a blank space then vegito then the, the follow-up character right like gogeta 4 the only thing i could really think of with this character is 236h Right, make it not go as far, you know? That move is insane for, his, for a special move, right? It's not as good as Lab Coat, that's for sure. But it's still mad buff. I think that's all Gogeta 4 would need to be changed. I, I don't think anything else he has is Supreme Bullshit. Remove double air dash? No, because that's unique to him and Adult Gohan. We don't, we don't want to get rid of too many things to make characters unique, man. Like, the only time you really see double air dash as a problem is when you get mixed by it. Yeah, 236H and auto combo, I think, are all you need to change on Gogeta 4. Make 236H not go as far. Make it scale as a light starter, you know? Uh, lower the invincibility frames of beam and projectiles. 
right? Just shit like that, you know? Auto combo too. Make it not be safe. Make it be like negative 10 or something, right? Where you have to commit to something to try to make it safe on block. Nerf 21 slightly and lab coat 21 and Vegito and I'll be happy. Regular? I don't think, you know, I think regular 21 is perfectly fine where she is. I think she's the most fair top tier, if that makes sense. All right, uh, I think some monsters Twitch should not go through beams. Projectiles, sure. Right, beams, no. Flight time should be cut in half or there should be recovery on his flight, right? His 2H should not go through beams. You could go through key blast, that's cool. Should not go through beams or physical assist. That's, that's way too good. Nah, so the, I think these are fair slight nerfs. 2H not go through beams, but go through key blast and should not go through physical assist. I, Zamasu is fair. No, he's he's not. Zamasu is not a fair character. I don't know who put this into your head. His flight being 10 seconds, right? And he could just use invincibility dash at any point. You know how many characters cannot do anything about that? 99% of the cast. He just flies around, two, three successes, builds his own assist, makes you block, and then he goes into his own assist. And he does wall of light or whatever how the move's called. Then you gotta deal with like a hundred mix-ups that doesn't work. He flies away and repeats it. That's not fair. That's total bullshit. He'll still be a great character. If if you nerf 2H to not beat beams and physical assist and nerf his flight time, he'll still be a great character. He'll be amazing. I'll take on this one. No, you just don't know how to properly balance, bro. Trust me, if if these characters get nerfed. And Zamasu says exactly where he is. Guess who you're gonna see more? You're gonna you're gonna see this asshole, and then you're gonna be like this. Trust me. Th th trust me. You can clip this and come back to this. Okay. He has an eight frame five M. He will be the new Vegito five M, but Walgreens brand, which is not that bad. Anyways, uh, yeah. Where is this asshole? You. Yeah, okay, he should not have armor on so many of his normals. Jump heavy? No. Command grab? No. Okay, barrier? Should go back to losing to physical assist. But then he's fine. Hey, I'm doing you guys. Hey, don't don't nerf Janimba, bro. There's there ain't no way you could nerf Janimba. Leave Janimba alone. I think everybody's fine outside of these five characters. 17? No, you guys just don't punish 17 for doing Rekkas. That's on you. I literally showcased on my stream when I play a 17 player, when they jump up, you punch them square in the balls. You teach them a lesson. You tell them, you tell them, no. They do it and you say, this bitch. And then you smack them across the face. I got it. I got it. No, I got it. The second half of his assist only comes out if you interact with the barrier. If you don't interact with the barrier, the second half doesn't come out. I think that's fair. I think that's totally fair. I think this is totally fair. Because it's more of a count. It should be a counter. Right? You literally can't combo anymore with assist. You can't combo with the defensive assist. First world problems, asshole. Okay, now I think we can move on. Because I'm looking at these characters. And like I said, to me, 21 is the most fair top tier. She doesn't have anything that's bullshit. She doesn't have any crazy normals with no recovery, right? She has a great key blast that's only one. Without steals, you know, she's not as potent. She needs steals to be a full character in terms of just like having bullshit on deck. So I think she's fine. I think Beerus is fine, right? I think Beerus Goku is perfectly fine where he's at perfectly fine i think i think krillin is perfectly fine where he is change place coco so every time he's caught can use a bit of health make it canon no god tian is fine uh janimba's fine i think jiren's fine i think team gohan's fine so i, was, I think Cell's perfect where he's at right now he has a little bit of everything he has a little bit of everything. Make it a level 3, dude. That would be sick. 16 is fine. For those of you that think 16 is not fine, go back and reevaluate the character. He's perfectly fine the way he is right now. 
Majin Buu is perfectly fine. Piccolo is fine. Blue Koo, in my opinion, is fine. Bring back release 16? No. I think Base Vegeta is perfectly fine. You know, I don't even know if we would put Base Vegeta as like a top tier character anymore, right? He got power crept by one, two, three, four, five characters. Android 21 level 3 is fine, but Zamasu nurse on my head. Why, why, why nerf mix? Why are you trying to nerf mix? It, and this is not to say that I think uh, Zamasu is better. I just think that he has a few things that are complete under the bullshit. Look, until you play as a Masu that constantly just goes into flight mode 236 in you, you're not going to understand why I think he needs these changes. You just look at 21 and go, here the key blast, two, two, level three mix, which most people don't even do correctly unless they're a high level player. But anybody can fly into Zamasu in 236 success and get in for free. But yeah. So A is slow. Eh, it could be faster, I guess. I I'll reevaluate this. Uh, I think Gogeta Blue is fine. This character is only enabled by, you know, barrier assist. If you, if you have him by himself, he's okay. He doesn't have any solo mix. All right, he puts you in a block string. What is he going to do? You take away the barrier assist. He has to not commit to stuff. Good neutral. He does not have good neutral. Like... He has no key blast, bro. If if you're walking back when he does EX uh, uh, Lariat, right? You can punish him. You literally need to just do this. And they want to throw that move out from full screen. And he can't even do anything if he's by himself when he does it. Yeah, this character is fine, right? And definitely enabled by certain characters, but you can say that about a lot of the cast. Uh, okay, the slight buff characters. UI. Bring back his DP assist. Come on. Bring back his DP assist and bring back the scaling on 214L. No. So, oh, okay. You, you don't want that DP assist, alright? But, but Vegito A is cool. Tingo Han DP assist is cool. No, that's cool. No, that's cool. I'm saying leave Vegito A in, in Zem. I'm saying leave Vegito A in. Uh, when I was talking about Vegito, I just said nerf 5M. That's it. Nerf 5M. Nerf the shit out of that button. Because Goku, Goku B is... Or UIB is trash. It's one of the worst assists in the game. My man... My man does a whole ass cartwheel. He does a McTwist into death. He will McTwist... You know in Thug, in Tony Hawk Underground, when you have to do a McTwist over the helicopter? Yeah, UI runs into the plane every single time. My man becomes chopped liver on the blades. That's him, in neutral. And and bring back the scaling on Bus Driver, because that's a 31 frame move. 28 when you flash. And at this point, people have shown, I'll jump the flip. People are jumping the flips now, most of the time. Remember when we were, I was like, jump the flip. And people were like, <laughs> just jump the flip, it's that easy. Yes, it is, asshole. You see people do it all the time. He probably still wouldn't even be top five if he got that shit back. Bring back Baby B, man. That's all Baby needs. Bring back Baby B. That's it. Nothing else. He's phenomenal the way he is right now. No, Baby B was annoying. You, you know you can 2H the assist. You can jab the assist you can special the assist you can reflect the assist you can avoid the assist with a well-timed super jump low look like you can l a b i know lab coat has mentally scarred you from labbing because you know she's a scientist but you should hit the lab it's, there's so many options. There's so much counterplay. Kefla. Kefla could use some slight buffs. I think that her 2 3 success should not have a gap in it. For sure. Like, people are unaware. If, if you're unaware, her 2 3 success, that, you know, gear, charge up, key blast thing she does, you can reflect because it's a two hitting move. There's a gap in there. You can level 3 it. There's, there's a lot of wiggle room. She should have... Her combo routes are fine. Definitely. 
I, I think just that no gap on that and she'd be fine. And her, her 6H is fine. It's just mental stack. Her 6H is pretty bad. I, I don't I don't think I think her 6H is fine. It's just mental stack. She's got like an 8 frame 2M, 7 frame JM, right? She has super easy 50-50s mid screen. Uh her command dash is a frame four get out option, right? Really good. Full screen hitting level three, so you can't commit to like a Kamehameha or anything like that in the air. You can't you can't commit to like a, a slow key blast or something like that, right? Because you can't even vanish her. I make hell zone rift. You know what? I could agree with that. Make it easier to go into her hell zone like Piccolo. Okay, yeah, no, that's fair. Make it easier for her to go into hell zone. Like make it cost you know half a bar to get an extended knockdown or something. You give her a way to combo into Hellzone. If they buff that, then she's just a better Piccolo. No, she's not. Piccolo still has better air normals. Piccolo still has his assist, right? Still has chop. Still has his way better level three Oki. Who else could use a slight buff? Bardock, bring back Bardock B, dude. Bardock B needs to come back, straight up. Yeah, and, and make his level 1 no longer go, what, mid-screen when you DHC in? You know, give him post-level 3 mix. Yeah, have him land closer to the opponent. Yeah, he's so damn far, there's no threat except, like, in the corner, you level 3, and then it spaces you out. Well, too far to really do anything. I wouldn't want them to fix the landing recovery into 3-6M. I would want- see, okay, this is this is what I want, right? For level 3 mixes, I want you to have to super jump, right? And properly time your cross-up. You have to earn the mix. Y'all don't want no freebie. I let me do this special, and then, you know, it auto-times it for me. No! You have to super jump, float, and do it all yourself. Just like base Vegeta players, right? That's fair. You have to earn your Oki, your mix. Kid Buu. Bring back his old super damage and his level 3 happy birthday. Like, why was that ever changed? I They ran out of ways to nerf this character. Yeah, you can't tell me that Kid Buu is fine, chat. This character got his super damage nerfed for no reason. They didn't know what to do anymore. And he wasn't even that good of a character when they nerfed him like that. So, buff his supers and buff his 2H. That's it. Kid Buu is only not top tier because of lab coat. All, all, all that... All that Gears of War got to your head, bro. What? You took, oh my god, too many Nashers to the head, Inzem. Excuse me? 2H can stay trash. He needs one bad thing. Kid Buu has no air game. Kid Buu has no air game. Kid Buu has no air presence, right? Outside of Mystic Ball, which doesn't even go, doesn't have like a massive hitbox. You don't think he became weaker? Bro. Kid Buu's supers do 700 damage. His level 3 no longer happy birthdays. You can guard cancel EX ball mix on reaction. You can guard cancel gumball mix on reaction. To either you don't get a mix or you get a very scaled mix. Anyways, that's my opinion. You can have your opinion. But I think Kid Buu sucks right now. Super hard. Like, he has no air game. He has no ground game. J his, his key blast, he's got one key blast. That has no durability. Candy Beam is trash. His command grabs are literally useless. You know what? Buff his command grabs, actually. Please. F make his command grabs faster. Because they're yitter li literally, literally useless. They're the most useless grabs in this entire gr game. I'm f stuttering over my own words right now. That's how bad they are. That's probably one of the most useless specials in the entire game. Videl still needs a reflect, man. I'll say it. Please, just, just like I, I, I still ask. In these trying times, I would like a reflect on Videl. Yes, this is risk too, dink man. She's not getting a reflect, but that's, that's something I would like to see. Other than that, I think maybe make six H gapless. I don't know why six H is not gapless because it doesn't lead into anything super crazy that she wouldn't get already. <sighs> Michael, as far as says, Go Tanks is fine. Stokey is there, EX punches, great special, Beyblade, still annoying as always, right? 2H moving forward and hits both sides. I would say Gotenks is fine here. Really annoying Key Blast, one of the better beams in the game that 
you can cancel and not commit to. Slight buff. Kasuga had brought this up after he just totally got... <laughs> Where's the clip? Who's got the clip where he just got smoked for calling barrier? <laughs> A slight buff for 18 would be... Have her leave the screen faster after she does barrier. Don't have her just sitting there, you know, with her finger up her nose and up her butt. She just sits there and hangs out. She's like, oh. Starts T-posing. You know? I think she needs to leave the field faster after you call her. S. Brawly. Slightly buff his frame data. And that is it. That's it. Nothing else. Make his 5 out 8 frames instead of 10. If it's going to be 10 frames, make it a medium starter. Right? Uh, he needs nothing else than better frame data. Either medium starter, 10 frame, 5L, or 8 frame, 5L. Maybe 7. Now, all this probably his buttons are negative. There's like 2 or 3 specials that are actually safe. Yeah, so buff his frame data on recovery. And some moves on startup. That's it. Nothing else. And he'd be a perfectly fine character. Right? Not Nothing too crazy, you know? May maybe change like 2 frames, 3 frames, depending on the move. You don't want it in the beef. The next Vegito 5M with his 5M. I don't know what to do to hit. I would like to see... Oh! His counter. I feel like if he does his counter, you should be locked out of doing any option. Except vanish. You know? I feel like you should be able to level 3, level 1. You shouldn't be able to spark. I feel like you should just be able to vanish. When he does. Because his counter is pretty useless. You can bait them the counter and then you level three them i wouldn't want them to buff his 2m and change maybe change his routes how they used to be i, I know they nerfed his routes so change his give him back his old routes and make counter actually be viable in high level maybe maybe better ways to get nah, this is this, there's no way that this would happen but he would need a better way to get air combos Outside of knockdown into vanish, you know when we have characters like S Brawly that can do two three six S, your cell can do perfect attack, right? Janimba can knock you down, and you know he can do Hell's Gate, right? In combo that way, need a knockdown mechanic for hit something, man. But there's I don't think there's any way they would put that in the game. I think hit players are just gonna be infinitely stuck to knockdown or button vanish Dragon Rush for the knockdown. I don't think you guys will get any air specials. He has no air specials besides counter. Maybe they could do something where if you double tap counter, you know, it gives you stance options in the air. Ginyu's like fine, but he could be slightly buffed at the same time. But he's he's like fine. I don't know. Ginyu's the hardest character in this game to approach balance wise I'm, I'm not really sure the only thing i could think of is bring back his old body change level three where it didn't take a bar sure you get more damage you probably get like a thousand more damage than you did before but you lose a bar his frame data sucks well ginyu is supposed to be a point character where you just where you smother people with the Ginyu squad. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. He's a character you're just supposed to smother your opponent with. You have a point. You call your assist. And you get the ball rolling. Make his 2L a low. No. The hell no. You literally have a smoke screen. Known as Raccoon. What do you mean? Uh, I guess I'll put him in slight buzz. But I don't, I don't really know what I would do to him. Maybe give him slightly faster Ginyu calls when you're at uh jason birder because it's pretty slow when you're at jason birder right uh cooler just give him a little too well problem solved all your problems would be solved if cooler had a low too well i can't imagine anything else that he would need yeah! slightly faster beam yeah i could agree with that give him a slightly faster beam and a low too well there you go problem solved uh, I wouldn't buff his Keyblast because he has a move that just completely negates zoning. If he didn't have 3H, then I'd be like, sure, yeah, no, better Keyblast. But he has a move that completely negates training. <laughs> training. <laughs> completely negates zoning. Sorry. I was reading something. 
Oh man, this character right here, he need big buffs. Big time. Bring back the old combos that Frieza used to have. Yeah! Right, 2 3 6 S was changed. They changed quite a few things that ruined his combo routes. So just bring back Frieza's old combo routes. Uh, make the first hit of JM hit crouching. How about that? IDJM first hit hits crouching. How about that? He needs project the. It doesn't? No. No, it doesn't. The second hit hits crouching. Make. Fi make his key blasts have more priority. Because he's a zoner, right? Make his key blasts have more priority. Bring back his old combo routes. Make IDM first hit hit crouching. Uh. Def slash. BEX is an assist. I think that'd be good. I think those would be. I think after that, Frieza would definitely be a, a super annoying character to fight. Very difficult to deal with. Goku Black. Go. I. I. I have been saying this for years since the beginning of time. Make 5S Key Blast beat Super Dash. And make EX instant transmission pop up with two Goku Blacks. And you get to pick which one you want if you hold the button in front or behind. That's it. Those buffs are insane. And he would not need anything else. Those buffs are nuts. And he would not need anything else. At all. Those two buffs, incredible. That's it. That's all Goku Black would need. That's all he would need. I feel like Goku Black players would be like, okay, yeah, sure, that's fine. Low two out, please. No faster command grab. Wouldn't even need a command grab, bro. Bring back level three save jump, though. Well, here's the thing. If you level three EX instant transmission and then you pop up behind them, they have to guess, right, where they dash. Allow them to combo off command grab in the corner. Ah, yeah, there you go. Okay, that's fair. That's a fair buff. Command grab combo in the corner. EX instant transmission. Two of them. You hold down the button if you want to stay on whatever side and 5s goes through key blast that's perfect that's perfect i wish they would use his scythe as a normal you know as the ultra mod that goku black has black has but you know i don't think that'll happen all right gt goku my man's my man's gt goku okay there's a couple things here and it's not a lot of buffs, but they're big buffs. Bring back GTA and either bring back Spirit Bomb Damage or the mix. One or the other. Bring back GTA for sure. And either bring back the mix or the damage. And bring back old Pogo Mix. I don't know why they nerfed his Pogo Mix. He now auto-corrects. He used to not auto-correct. And that's crazy because GT Goku would still not be insane. If he got these buffs. He'd, he'd still be... He'd probably be a top 10 character now. Would not be top 5. Would not be top 5. Top 10, sure. Bring back Season 2 GT Goku. Nah, man. Auto-combo. 214L orb mix. Damn, you wanna be... Yeah. Bring bringing back old GT that that'd be too much. That that character was insane. You're asking for 17A to be nerfed, but asking for GTA back. Yes. I oh wow your defensive assist that you love to mesh against my non-defensive assist that in this new current meta would not even be as powerful as it used to be. Hmm. 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 No neutral. Hmm. Hmm. All right, Super Saiyan Goku, bring back old 2M first and foremost, okay? Make EX overhead ground bounce non-vanish needed to convert off of it, okay? Make Tatsu be convertible mid-screen. Is it convertible mid-screen? I actually don't know. It's been so long since I've played him. I know 236H doesn't convert mid-screen. That's for sure. Alright. A low 2L? I don't know, man. This character be fucked up with a low 2L. 
and give him the ability to pick either left or right with 236H. Nah, you're tripping. You're, you're, you're smoking some good shit, bro, and I want some. Because that's a hell of a buff, bro. I want it to be slightly faster and you can convert off of it mid screen. No vanish or assist. T14H anti air. Yeah. I, c I can agree on 214H being frame 1 anti air. Nah, man. Him with the low 2L? Oh, shit. On top of like what I want. Like, imagine he had a low 2L on top of the buffs I just asked for. He still has same side Kamehameha, dude. He'd be too nasty. He'd be too nasty. He's pro tag. Well, guess what? He's right here. He's right here. He's right here. Right? He's right here. He's all over the place. He's all over the place. Everywhere. Too bad, dweebs. It's not the world. It's too bad, dweebs. That's not the rule of fighting games. Yeah, Soul was top tier when the game first came out. Not anymore. It, it didn't take that long for Soul to fall from grace. Soul probably had the fastest fall from grace. Gives you saying Goku mods in 21 level 2 Oki. How about we just bring back double supers for everybody, huh? Not for everyone. Oh, but Piccolo can have double super. Oh, Zebra I can have double super. Oh, to totally fair, bro. Bring back Roshi B. That's it. That's a huge buff. It's a massive buff. That's all Roshi needs, but that is a big ass buff. That is a massive buff. That is no slight buff. That is huge. He just needs Roshi B back. Even if it's the first nerfed Roshi B, that's fine. Either or. Either bring back original Roshi B or the first nerf. Because the first nerf Roshi B was still incredibly potent. You just call Roshi, right? True block string, Cyber Dash, true block string. Second half of Roshi B kicks in, true block string. Uh, I think Nappa is perfectly fine the way he is. Cyberman's a little annoying. But outside of that, Nappa, Nappa's fine in my opinion. No, no, slightly buff him. Yeah, I think I think Nappa's fine. Great where he's at. No, no better reversal. He's got what? Four lows? Five? Four? Four lows, right? 5L, 5L, 5M, 2M. Yeah. Standing overhead, right? You go into Cyberman. He's, he's perfectly fine. Dude's got some of the craziest mix in the game. Put Cyber EX Cyber in there for nothing part of the list. I don't really know what you can do with Lugita. Maybe make Big Bang come out faster? I, I, I would make Big Bang come out faster. It's way too slow, way too committal. Maybe give him multi key blast. I think I think I think he's fine outside of those two things. His his A assist is trash. His B assist is basically trash. But if Big Bang was faster, it would completely change the ballpark for him. Cause it's what like 50 frames right now or something like that. It has about the same hit stun as like old UIA did. And look at UIA, right? Adult Gohan, A assist, you know. Current UIA. Bring back old Vegeta, eh? I'll say it. Bring back old Vegeta, eh? I'll say it, man. He needs it. He needs it. J2L should be an overhead. Not comboable, though. If you hit your opponent grounded, it should not be a comboable move. It should be how when hit 2Ls you. You just take out immediately. Vegeta A, former glory. J2L is an overhead. And you can use it as a combo tool if you get it in the air in a combo. I got flamed long ago saying Big Vex, Super Saiyan, Vegeta A, Vanilla. He low key needs it. Yeah, cool kid, because all these other characters are f crazy. EX Rocket. Oh, and EX Rocket Kick should be safe at closer distances. But if you. No, sorry, EX Rocket Kick should be safe at further distances, but if you do it close to your opponent, you should get punished. Or, not punished, but you should have to block. Full, I think all full screen EX moves 
should put you in a position where you have to block negative five, right? Oh, I think all full screen X moves you have to block. I think it's only fair. Amcha, bring back EX Wolf Fang Fist. Make 5M faster, okay? There's no reason that move should be that slow. His 2M, he should go further out when he does it. There's no reason he should stand in place when he does that, all right? That's just silly. Make 2H always smash even on the first hit. Make it be like a vacuum. Make it be like a vacuum effect, right? Where if you get the first or second hit of 2H, you always get the smash. Because second hit 2H, Yamcha does not get the smash. Same thing with UI, actually. Second hit 2H does not get the smash property, all right? So, any multi-hitting 2Hs, they're kind of buggy right now, so fix that, please. But yeah, EX will thing fist back to its former glory. 2H readjusted. 5M should be much faster. 5H, our 5H sucks. There's a lot of things you could do with that. You can make it faster where it's true, but it's no longer plus, right? You could hold, you could have it where you hold it down, and it does what the old 5H used to do. Okay. Buff his damage output just a smidge, just a smidge on his specials outside of the EX ones. Please save 2H. Yeah, 2H into. You know what? Yeah, I think all 2Hs should actually be safe in this game if you cancel fast enough. But there's a lot of 2Hs that just get cooked. Better Key Blast? For sure. I feel like if you tap the button, he should go like doof, 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 doof in the air instead of just doof. I think that'd be sick. Imagine Yantra just goes, you doof 5S and he's just like doof, 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 doof instead of just doof. Slightly faster beam and you have a fine character. Trunks! Bring back old auto combo change the future give smash on any hitbox okay any hitbox gives you the smash m flip should do what h flip does in combos mid-screen you should not have to spend half a bar to get 300 more damage when other characters spend half a bar to get 3000 more damage Okay. His EX flip mix should be easier. It should have it where if you hold down H, it gives you the EX, uh, the instant air EX flip mix. Because guess what? Even if you instant air EX flip, it's still fing hard to control your float. You know how hard it is? Have you ever tried that mix up? That shit is not easy. All right. If you EX flip and hold heavy down, it gives you the instant air flip and lets you, you know, gives you that specific height. It's still mad hard. Still mad hard. Bojack Trunks looks and he's auto on. All right, all right, but I, I think those buffs would be and make it easier to confirm his 5S into Vanish. I think after that, he'd be fine old auto combo change the future buff buffs to flips buffs to his key blast anyways gohan all right this character okay okay this character the song's loretta by ginger root level one round start i agree okay level three if you spend three bars to level up, you should get a hard knockdown. If you spend more than three bars, it still gives you the hard knockdown, right? His level one should do 80 more damage. It still does no damage. It does 648. I think it's the lowest damaging level one in the game. Yeah, I was going to get into that, Sean. But yeah, I think Gohan has the lowest damaging level one by far. It should do 80 more damage or 100 more damage. Should at least do 750. Not no kid boost 723. You should be able to DHC into held levels. I agree. I wouldn't say buff is level three because it's a full screen beam that punishes shit full screen. I think any move that has full screen punish property should not do as much damage as closer level threes, but they didn't balance it around that. 
Yeah, level one is off rip, off the gates. You have level one. For sure. Okay. Level so now you're at level zero technically. Level one now gives you the double air dash. Level three now gives you reverse speed. And level five now gives you all the special cancels. And the crazy part is at level three, he still would not be top five. That's the crazy part. The only way you can do is she charges if it's in the meme 18 base crew A Gohan team. He would definitely be top 10. Can't do You could DP into multiple levels. Off of a regular knockdown, you can go into multiple levels. Gohan should be OD, to be honest. Even at 5, even if you changed all the special cancels into level 5, you still wouldn't see it too often. How often do you see Gohan hit level 5 outside of when either they're winning or they're losing? Even at those levels, it's like, okay, well, I only have Gohan left or my other character is almost dead. And I'm about to hit level 5. Gohan still has no neutral, right? Buff his JS. His JS, he's got the one of the worst key bless in the whole game. One of his lab coat right now better than level seven Gohan. It, whose man's is this? Yeah. Buff his key bless. Adjust the first hit of 5L. Because it's 5 Dude, 6M with Gohan. He can't 5L. Gohan is one of the only I think Gohan might be the only character with a six frame normal. That if you get six on by another character with a six frame normal, he can't he can't hit a button. Cause 5-0 doesn't go anywhere. At all. 5S should be full screen. Yes, I yeah. 5S should be full screen. And I think that's it for Gohan. I, I think that would be it. Five, there's no reason 5S shouldn't hit full screen. Like UI literally has Gohan's 5S, but it's better. It's much better. It gives you a full screen combo. You do JS, you super dash and get a full screen conversion. Gohan does JS, you punish him on landing. Gohan does 5S, he doesn't get anything. That shit's already hard to convert off of anyway. Yeah, I, I, well, these are my thoughts on characters and the buffs and nerfs I would like to see with a new patch. New patch means the game has another year of life, right? After the patch comes out. That's usually how it works. The patch is probably after EVO. So that means it's going to have one more EVO and maybe another season. Like, we know they're cooking 21 for sure. Explain the UI buff again. Give him back his old A assist. Oh, you know,